In this video, we are going to show how to create a grid dashboard. The first step is going to create, naming your dashboard, and hitting cloud HMI type. Then you'll be brought into the dashboard that you want to create. Hit edit, and let's first start on a tank's sensor level. So we'll hit single value, it'll be a level. I want to get the last numerical value of it. And I want to set a warning where I know the max is 78 inches and I want to set a warning so it'll populate as orange if it's for above 40 and alarm if it's above 60. Now I want to create one for a high level float alarm. the last here, and I can set it to if it's one, meaning it is on, it'll turn red. But now it's off, so it's white. Now we want to set a time series for the level. Over time, and you can drag and drop here. Now we want to look at the pump status. It's last, and if it's one, I can set the alarm or threshold there. It's off. Now we'll set a time series for the pump run status. And then I also want to see the time, the run time. And that is how I create a simple dashboard. You always also have an option to add the map on the bottom. Depending on where you want to zoom in. You can also add a table for key metrics that you want. So you can have in all the, 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 sense, the data inputs that you want in a table as well. And it's easy drag. Like that. The last is a gauge. So this can be the same thing as a sensor level and you can do low or high warnings and that's what this looks like it's the same one as this one the single value like here and that completes how to create a grid dashboard